The Adams. Get out of there, Pickles! A pancake is so much good food! The two pigs had disguised themselves with human clothes. Pancake knew enough about the human world that they didn't draw too much attention. He knew where to walk, where to cross the street, where not to poop, and where not to rummage for food. But Pickles refused to believe that the waste bins were not food baskets. You have to try this pancake! Pickles, get out of there! People are starting to stare! Pancake gave a friendly wave to a passerby. A old lady scowled. You shouldn't let your child play in the bins! I'm telling the police! And she huffed away. Slowly, Pancake pulled Pickles out of the bin and dragged him away. Pickles, I, I told you, we have to act like humans, and humans don't eat trash. But it's not trash. There's, there's so much food in there. <laughs> don't forget it. Why do humans throw away perfectly good food? <sighs> I told you, humans are strange when it comes to their food. Indeed, the world of humans was strange to Pickles. It was nothing like living on the farm. Pancake, how do you know so much about humans? TV. TV? What's that? Asked Pickles. It's a box that tells you about the human world. Farmer Joe had one in his house. I could see it through the window from the apple tree. Cool. So what do humans do? Pancake stopped in front of a door and looked up. This is what humans do. They shop. Pickles looked up at the red sign that said supermarket. Come on, Pickles, let's try to act human. And you had that piece of paper you found, right? You want a bite? It's not very good. No, no, that's money. We need it. The supermarket was so bright and shiny, the two pigs were dazed by the shelves and shelves of food. Pancake, have you ever seen such a place? No, Pickles. It's so... Beautiful. Look, there's a picture of a pig here. I bet these humans love pigs. Pancake was mesmerized. The food looked so clean and perfect. Sir, would you like some honey smoked bacon? We have a special on all bacon and pork sausages. 50% off today. It took Pancake a moment to realize the man behind the counter was talking to him. Surprised, he, he nodded, smiled, and took the package the man offered and dropped it in his basket. Pickles looked over at the packet. What kind of food is that? I don't know. The man called it bacon. Sounds yummy. And cheap. Pancake looked more closely at the label and froze. He saw a drawing of a pig. What is it, Pancake? Pancake dropped the bacon on the floor and looked up at the counter. In horror, he realized what all the beautifully displayed food actually was. He quickly backed away, knocking apples onto the floor. We, we have to get out of here, Pickles! What? We just got here! Pickles picked up the packet of bacon from the floor. Don't touch that! Pancake knocked the bacon out of Pickles' hand. He grabbed Pickles' hand and tried to pull him, but slipped on an apple and he fell over. Silver shoppers were starting to stare at them and point. A man in black uniform appeared and looked at Pancake on the floor. Police! Run, Pickles! Run! The two pigs squealed as they ran on all four through the supermarket. Their clothes were flying off their bodies. The policemen chased them out of the store. No, no, this way! Towards, towards the trees! Got it, Pancake. The two pigs ran and ran away from the supermarket. Pancake could hear the river and there was less cars on the road. No humans, no police. Oh, 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 Pancake! Can we stop? I'm tired! No, we, we have to get out of this town. Pancake kept on trotting up a small hill. No, I don't want to get out of this town. I like this human world. Pancake turned to look down at Pickles. From up above, he could see the policeman on a bicycle. It was bearing down on Pickles, but Pickles couldn't see him around the corner. Run, Pickles! But Pickles refused to move. In a few seconds, the policeman would be on top of Pickles. Pancake just started running down the hill, almost tumbling. You know, Pancake, I think I like shop. Stop, you pigs! Pickles turned in surprise as he saw the policeman. Then Pancake came tumbling out of the bush and slammed into the side of the bicycle. Whoa, 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 whoa! 
the policeman yelled as his bicycle swirled off the road, flying over pickles and tumbling over the edge. The policeman disappeared. The two pigs walked over to the edge and looked down. Oh no, Pancake! We have to do something. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.